Hello YouTube, welcome to another video to Fabricator here and today's tutorial is going to be about how to draw basic lines so I'll dive straight in so I've just changed my screen from the 3D to the 2D there so the line function is across the top of the ribbon here top left hand corner line so we'll left click on line come down left click the start line left click and press enter that creates a line I'll do that again left click left click the start line left click press enter that's a little bit long winded for me me personally I prefer to use this method of drawing lines because you pressing the keyboard buttons enough as it is with AutoCAD so you want to try as quickly as possible to get used to just using a mouse as much as you possibly can so I left clicked on line there left click the start line left click like you've done before but instead of pressing enter you right click and this little window comes up and left click on enter much quicker I'll do that again left click then you go left click, left click, right click, left click on enter. It takes a little bit, little while to actually get used to that method, but once you get used to it, it's, it's pretty good. I actually prefer that. So, different ways of editing, uh, sorry, editing lines. So all you do is you just hover over a line. I mean, you can do this for any object, uh, or any geometry uh, you've created on old old car. You can just hover over it and it highlights left click on the object in this case a line and you can see three grips have appeared on that line you hover over the end grips and you get a little window stretched and lengthen so all you do is you move down that window and again like i said it doesn't matter what shape you hover over and press left click on the grip you will get a little window with options so all it is is just a little bit of messing about so I'll just left click on stretch and you can see that's basically pivoting on the original point and you can stretch it to anywhere you want. I'll press escape, I'll try the other method, I'll hover over it and I'll go to lengthen. Pretty straightforward, self expandary and it lengthens to specify on it. While I'm on, I'll, you can see that's two windows, I probably should have done this straight away, that's two windows. Uh, that opens up when you draw a line. I'll explain that now. So press escape, come out of that. Left click on line. So, as you probably know, you can actually see that them numbers in that window increasing and decreasing. That obviously is the length. So you can actually make lines or objects to specify lines uh, sorry, lengths and angles. So all you would do is, let's see, I'll just zoom right in there. It's a bit better. Zoom right in on that by rolling the middle button on the mouse. I'll specify that length to, let's see, 75. Now you could press enter, and that will give you a length of 75, and a de degree angle of zero degrees will just give you a flat line. However, if you want a 75 and a specified angle, what you would do is you type in 75, you wouldn't press enter. You actually press tab. I've just pressed tab there, and as you can see, that 75 is locked in. You don't actually have to move the line. You can just type in the angle. Let's see it, 30 degrees. And I press enter. Look what happens. So here you're getting a length of 75 and an angle of what I've just specified. Another interesting feature when you draw lines, it's very helpful to know, is you press left click, left click, left click. If you make a geometry, press enter there, these two are separate entities. If you wanted to join those two entities together, you would select you press G for join and you press enter. 
Now notice how these grips change when I now hover over and press select. Now remember a straight line you get three grips, three squares. When you hover over a shape, what you've joined, effectively turn it into a polyline as it states there, you get these different types of grips. That actually gives you a couple more different options. And polylines are, for me, my personal preferred method of drawing lines because you get more options. So I'll just hover over that polyline and then you can see you can stretch, you can add a vertex, it convert this line to an arc. So you already know what stretch means, so I'll add, add a vertex. Left click add vertex, specify on the line where you want this vertex, and as you can see, it's created yet another editing point. So effectively, this is three lines, I guess. So I'll hover over that. I'll go to convert arc. As you can see, you can convert this line to an arc. Now, this polyline function is it's much more flexible in terms of editing your lines. Whereas a straightforward line, one of these lines here, only gives you a couple of options. I'll hover over the center grip, and all this simply would do is move this line. Okay. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what happens if I convert this geometry here to a polyline, yet I want only a little portion of the lines I've created to highlight? Pretty simple. All you have to do is keep your finger on the control button and hover over one of the lines. And that pretty much just singles out the area for editing. I left click. You see? It still has that polyline function, but not a straightforward line function. Okay. I'll do it again on that line. Control, left click. Again, you've selected just one polyline. I'll not press the control button and hover over this uh, object I've drawn. And all three of those lines select. Really handy little thing there. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, or actually, I didn't want all them lines to be joined together. How would I get out of it? Well, you go back, 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 back on this uh, backwards button here. Alternatively, what you could do is select, go up to this explode button, and if you hover over, it gives you a quick little sort of demonstration there. Left click there, and as you can see, these shapes are once again separate entities. I'll hover over it, select it, and the turn into lines. Okay, so that's, I mean, you can use the explode button on a wide variety of applications in terms of shapes and lines. It's really good if you want the whole thing to be explored, if you want to do work on each and every little bit of um, something that you've drawn. But, I mean, the control option where you just press control, I'll just join them, remember? Control and select one. So I'll go back, back, separate entities, and so there you go. So I'm um, thinking that probably has taken me to the end of this video that's been aimed at beginners. I'm trying to think of anything else that I may have missed out on drawing basic lines um, yeah pretty much covers it so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this video it's been part three of the autocad series i'm doing um, i'm going to do as many videos in the series as i possibly can eventually going up to 3d um, so yeah if you've liked the video hit like and subscribe and that's a tune fabricator out for today